can we prove that 1 over 1 minus cos of an angle plus 1 over 1 plus cos of that angle is equal to 2 over sine squared of that angle? Yes, but I don't think you're going to like it. First of all, we need to make two fractions into one single fraction, and we can't add two fractions together without a common denominator. Now, one minus cosine and one plus cosine are not the same thing, and we can't really turn one into the other without multiplication. What I mean is we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by the full one plus cos theta that is the bottom of that fraction. And likewise, we're going to have to multiply the top and bottom of this second fraction by 1 minus cos theta. See, we're multiplying the top and bottom of this by that, and the top and bottom of this by that. The whole reason we might do that is so that the bottoms match. So 1 times 1 plus cosine theta is 1 plus cosine theta, because anything times 1 is 1. The bottom is 1 minus cos times 1 plus cos. Nice. Okay, not too bad. We're going to add that to this. 1 times this is 1 minus cos theta. And the bottom is 1 plus cos times 1 minus cos. It doesn't matter that the minus went first here and the plus went first here. They're still multiplied by each other. Now the bottoms actually match, so we can combine top plus top. 1 plus cos theta plus 1 minus cos theta all over the common bottom, which is 1 minus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta. This is going to clean up really nicely. We have a plus cos and a minus cos both on top. 1 plus 1 is 2. That's where the 2 on top is going to come from. But this is going to need to be cleaned up as well. This is two things times two things. We're going to have to foil it out. 1 times 1, 1 times cos, negative cos times 1, negative cos times cos. That's okay. We can do that. The top here, like I said, 1 plus 1 becomes 2. And the bottom is 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times cos is cos, negative cos times 1 is negative cos, and negative cos times cos is negative cos squared. Now, you might have already seen that that's a difference of squares. That's why the plus cos and minus cos middle terms cancel out. So we end up with 2 over 1 minus cos squared theta. And hopefully by now you know that 1 minus cos squared is the same as sine squared. If you don't know that, try replacing the 1 with sine squared plus cos squared. Then your plus cos and minus cos squareds cancel. You're left with sine squared. Whatever. You see it. Cool. So now that equals that. My left side equals my right side. And we can celebrate by saying, therefore, left side equals right side. Therefore, 1 over 1 minus cos plus 1 over 1 plus cos equals 2 over sine squared. Love it. Not too bad. Less than four minutes. Peace.